Good evening, and welcome to the public meeting regarding State Road A1A Pedestrian Safety Improvement Project, FPID number 445867-1, and Drainage Improvement Project, FPID number 448636-1. We encourage your feedback. There are multiple ways you can submit your comments and questions about these projects. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the presentation is available on the project web pages at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-867-1 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448-636-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl. Dot us. That is J E N N I F E R dot S M I T H two at D O T dot state dot F L dot U S. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399 0450, by phone at 850 414-4753 or email at Jacqueline.Paramore at dot.state.fl.us. That is J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E dot P-A-R-A-M-O-R-E at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The overall area for both projects is along State Road A1A from north of Crescent Beach Drive to just north of Minuteman Causeway, ending at North 1st Street in Cocoa Beach. The Pedestrian Safety Enhancement Project, FPID number 445-867-1, is proposing to construct 12 new pedestrian crossings. State Road A1A is split in this area with a northbound direction known as Atlantic Avenue and a southbound as Orlando Avenue. The crossings are planned at both northbound and southbound intersections at Summer Street, 16th Street, 13th Street, 10th Street, 4th Street, and 1st Street South. Additional improvements are planned at the Minuteman Causeway intersection, including upgrades to pedestrian crossing equipment and other safety improvements. The improvements were developed from a 2019 pedestrian safety study and will meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA requirements. All of the crossings will have enhanced signing and pavement markings. The 1st Street South crossings will also be equipped with pedestrian activated signals known as pedestrian hybrid beacons or PHBs. A pedestrian hybrid beacon is an overhead traffic signal designed to help pedestrians cross by requiring motorists to stop during a red light phase. However, unlike a regular traffic signal, the signal is dark until activated by a pedestrian. Once activated by a pedestrian, the PHB light cycle begins. Here is a short video showing how a PHB works. In Florida, we all expect to get to our destination safely no matter how we travel. The Department of Transportation is striving to keep people who walk safe by adding pedestrian hybrid beacons in areas with high pedestrian traffic. At the crosswalk, press the button to activate the beacon. The beacon will turn yellow, then change to red, requiring drivers to stop. Once the pedestrian has safely crossed, the beacon will flash red, then go blank, alerting to drivers they may proceed. Alert today, alive tomorrow. 
The instructional video and other helpful information about PHBs is available at alerttodayflorida.com. The Drainage Improvement Project, FPID number 448-636-1, plans improvements at 1st Street North and 1st Street South, and at 9th Street South, potential improvements are being evaluated. To help reduce standing water in the on-street parking area at 1st Street North, the existing curb would be reconstructed and a drainage structure added to better capture stormwater. This would require temporary closure of the on-street parking during construction. At 1st Street South on southbound State Road A1A, the drainage inlet structure, sidewalk, and curb ramp will be reconstructed to provide improved crossing for pedestrians. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed for both projects by spring 2023. Right-of-way is not required for the improvements. Construction of the pedestrian safety project is expected to start in summer of 2023. A start date for the drainage improvement project has yet to be determined. We encourage your input and feedback about these projects. There are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Friday, March 11th, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit comments in person, you may speak directly to project staff on the floor tonight or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the questions box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project websites at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-867-1 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448-636-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us. That is S-A-M-U-E-L dot J-U-M-B-E-R at dot.state.fl.us. By U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager directly at 386-943-5244 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the project websites, on the comment form, and on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about the project, please go to cflroads.com. In the search box at the top right, enter the project number 445-867-1 or 448-636-1 and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the websites now. The Florida Department of Transportation thanks you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on these projects. Please review the aerial maps, plans, and illustrations on display. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Friday, March 11, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed tonight are also posted on the project websites at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-867-1 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448-636-1. Thank you again, and remember that safety is everyone's responsibility.